People think that uh, the better my life is, the more comfortable it will become. A better life may transform an uncomfortable life into a more comfortable, but they aren't one and the same. I think of Paul and Silas in Acts 16. Remember? They get thrown in jail. They're fast in the stocks. They got these things around their neck, possibly. They're ball and chained. Uh, this is not a comfortable situation. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. So here it is. You have two very uh, godly people in a very uncomfortable situation with a very high, get this, quality of life. Quality of life does not mean that a person is going to be comfortable. As a matter of fact, I think of all of the apostles. I think of Matthew, who was a tax collector, probably had a little bit more comfortable life collecting tax from people. We're going to have problems. Let's face it. We were promised that. They that live godly will suffer persecution, the Bible says. Are we going to base the quality of our life on the quantity of our things? Are we going to base the quality of our life on being comfortable? Well, if we do that, I guarantee that we're going to miss the mark. We are going to struggle all the time. We are, we are going to, it's going to be a, a battle in our life to find the peace of God. Whatever the life issue is that we are struggling with today, and I promise you this, can all be answered by God. He is the one person that we submit to, and when we submit to him, literally things improve. This is why Paul and Silas can sing praises at midnight in a prison. This is why the vast majority of the martyrs uh, that died for the faith, they sang songs and hymns and spiritual songs. They sang this while being crucified because they knew that what they had to come, what they had to look forward to, and what they had now was a much better life had they, than had they had not trusted Christ as their Savior. 